run. Did you hear that? Hold on. Someone's coming. By the gods, it was horrible. He killed them all, and nothing could stop him. It was Dren, that freak who guards the House of Pride. He told us to leave, but we thought we could beat him. He's just one Fey, and not even a Tuatha, but nothing hurt him, and he slaughtered us all. The worst thing was, he seemed sorry to kill us. We'd heard the legends of Dren the Bloody, unbeatable defender of the House of Pride. But you know how Fey are with their stories. We were going to be the ones who beat him, and opened the path to Alabastra for the army. We were going to be heroes, you know? Then Dren told us to turn around or we'd die. And gods help us, we didn't turn around. That's what we thought too. But if anyone can do it, It'd be you. How can one Fey be this much trouble? Damn it! I told them not to try anything until we arrived. This wouldn't be related to Aelin and her friend coming down that road, would it? If you were anyone else, I'd try to stop you. As it is, I'll just wish you good luck. This can't end here. Sometimes one soldier can do what an entire army cannot. You haven't tried approaching, have you? No, of course you haven't. You're still alive. This took a little longer to find than I had hoped, but it should be exactly what you need. Dren had a twin in the summer court. Dith, the defender of valor. They were both entirely immune to each other's power. She faded when the House of Valor fell, but my early experiments with the Well of Souls provided a quite useful little surprise. You see, when trying to draw life energy from the ether, I captured her essence and bound it into this charm. With this, you will be immune to Dren's power. It's not as powerful as it used to be, and it's specific to Dren, but... It'll let you face him and live. Now be fair. They don't have souls as mortals do. They are a form of magic with a physical form. And I only got a little of it anyway. Just enough for a certain degree of immunity to Dren's power. It only works for one person. But it'll be enough for you to reach him. Trouble is, he'll be immune to your power as well. But I'm sure you can think of something. With the essence of valor, you can withstand Dren's attacks. Stop being such a child and go face him. Go show that defender what a little... Turn back or die. Then you shall die like the others before you. I made an oath to protect my house and my homeland. No power short of death can keep me from fulfilling my duties. I know your intentions are to free my people from the Tuatha. You seem an honorable sort. You even bear the blessing of my sister. But I have sworn an oath to defend my house and homeland. I cannot let you in without a fight. And you cannot win against me. If only things could be different. If only the Tuatha were gone and my sister was back. My oath stands.
Enough. We could fight each other until the mountains wear away, but that will aid nothing. My sister and I were chosen to protect our kind. So long as our houses stood, the Fae would never pass from this world. I in pride, and she in valor. We never imagined that our houses could crumble beneath our feet. Mortals led to the collapse of my sister's house, but with Gadflo's help, they shall not have mine. He may taint pride with his Prismere and his obscene god, but it will keep us eternal. Before I knew the truth of Tuatha, I swore to keep my homeland safe from invaders. I could never have known what my people would become. Fae never change, and pride's honor never yields. I cannot yield, but if your true intent is to stop Gadflow, then perhaps there is a way my house and my honor could remain pure. If you would promise to spare the House of Pride, then we could put aside our powers and have an honest battle. Win, and your army may pass. If this is the only way to secure a chance for my house's untainted survival, then so be it. If you should win, then destroy the Tuatha in my house and the hateful witch knight Myrna. Then we can be truly free. <laughs> You did it! You actually beat him! Guess I owe Ventrinio a drink. A promise is a promise, and the Witch Knights of Pride would be powerful allies to have on our side. I'll send a few soldiers along to help. Meanwhile, I'll get the other troops ready to move into Alabastro once that gate opens. The gate to Alabastro is still closed, and we can't open it without the... We'll be getting the forces ready out here. Go on. Get that gate open, and the army will be ready to go. <laughs> Yeah. 
Halt! Parley in honor of Dren. If you would be so kind as to have a word with us. I have been chosen by the remaining members of our house to speak for all. We were most honored by your intention to free us. We are in seclusion, so it's best to observe this situation without any unnecessary interference or risk to ourselves. I assure you, we will be more than happy to assist you in Alabastra. Simply carry forth and destroy Witch Knight Myrna, who has so commandeered our house. And her dreadful Prismere Chantry, of course. We are sure you'll have no problem finding her. Or defeating her. We eagerly anticipate your success.
Well done, child of dust. You've killed the immortal defender and liberated a house full of arrogant backstabbers. I shall thank you for exposing the disloyal amongst my kin. But then, I have so much to thank you for. Your bravado is nothing more than the mewling of an angry kitten. Each two offer you kill makes the rest of us stronger. Each one feeds Tiernok. The goddess of mercy awakens. And with every step you take into my homeland, she comes that much closer to walking our world and purging your kind. So welcome to Alabastra. It shall be the death of you once more. We have seen our champion bested, our advantage lost, and our minds are cleared. Bravo to you, champion. House of Pride, in our ineffable wisdom, renounces the Tuatha and demands that you accept our immediate surrender. Your army is welcome here. We trust our benevolence will be well remembered, should Gadflo be dethroned. We thank you kindly, and our mages have already been assisting your army in their march into Alabastra. We trust you do not object. Most excellently spoken. You have the commanding presence of a young Aegon, who once also bore the pleasure of our august company. Allow us to welcome you to Alabastra. We trust your visit will be... eventful.
not emphasize the importance of what you've done. Until you destroy those shipments, goodbye. Give us a wink, love. Drives my rust. nail of a husband mad come see me again shields plate and gauntlets
Take your pick. Good then. Thank you. 